Hi Unraiders and welcome to another Uncast video. Can you believe it's a whole nother month gone already? Before we know it the summer's going to be all over and gone. So today is the 1st of August so it's time for another monthly spotlight app. And for this month's spotlighted app I'm fortunate enough to have had one of mine chosen. So I'm excited to show you custom VM icons. And if you've ever installed this before, please stay watching because this is the version 2 of this container which gives us a full web UI. And so for users who are using version 1 of this container, you are going to have to change some things in your template. But if you've never installed the custom VM icons container before, well, there's pretty much nothing you actually have to do other than click on to install. If you're watching this video when it's first been released, then you'll see the container as the latest spotlighted app. But if you're watching this a few months into the future, then you'll probably need to do a search for VM underscore custom underscore icons. But before I go and install this, let me take a few moments to explain exactly what this container does. This container is a tool for those of us who are running Unraid VMs. So here we are over on the VMs tab on one of my servers, and you can see I've got some various VMs running here. Now if I click on to add VM, we can see here the various different types of VMs that we can install. And we can see the collection of icons that Unraid uses with its templates. My VMs here, you can see I've got Garuda, Home Assistant, Pop! OS and Windows 98 that don't have their proper icons. And so what VM Custom Icons does is allows you to have additional icons in your Unraid VM manager. Now, like I said earlier, this is actually version two of this container. I made the original one back in November 2020. And since then, it's had more than a million downloads. And over the last few weeks, I've been working on a big update for this. And you can see that I uploaded that on the 31st of July, 2025. And so some of you guys watching may have had your version one actually updated and you won't actually notice anything different at all because I made sure that version 2 is fully backwardly compatible with the version 1 template. But first what we're going to look at in this video is for people installing a fresh version of this container who don't currently have the old version running on their server. So let's click on the install button here and have a look at the template. Now there's nothing really that you need to actually fill in here at all. There's just one thing here where it says success tune which by default is set to no, but if you have a beep speaker and you set this to yes, then the container, when it successfully changes icons, it just plays a little tune to let you know it's done its work. Well, I'm leaving everything as is, and I'm gonna click on apply and pull down the container. Okay, so we can see the container running at the top here. So all we need to do is open the web UI, and here it brings us in to the VM icon manager. So here we can see the various different sections into which the icons are broken down. So for example, if I click onto Linux here, we can see here all of the various Linux icons that are currently in the container. So if I was to select Garuda here, Pop! OS, and Hasio for Home Assistant, and why not select the other one as well, then at the top here we can see it says that four icons have been selected. So I just click Save and Apply, and here it tells us that the icons have successfully been applied. So if we go back to the Unraid server, the icons haven't automatically changed themselves. But for instance, if I click onto the Garuda VM here and go to edit, now if I click on the icon, we can see here the Garuda Linux icon is here. I can select that, go to the bottom of the page and click on to update. So now I've got a nice icon for Garuda. Let's do the same for Home Assistant and the same for Pop! OS but still we haven't got one for Windows 98. So we can go back to our icons manager here and go to the Windows section. And here I can choose my Windows 98 icon from the various additional Windows ones here. So now it says five icons selected because still we've got the Linux ones selected from what we chose before. So I'm gonna click on save and apply. And now I can add the Windows 98 icon to this VM. There's one thing those of you who are very observant might have noticed is the Home Assistant VM, the icon didn't change. Now that's because the VM's actually running and you can't change an icon on a running VM. It must be stopped in order to do this. Once the VM stopped, you can just edit the template and change the icon and it will stick and be absolutely fine. Okay, so going back to the icon manager here, 
Other things we can do, if you don't like the order that these are in, we can drag these around and change the order of which the various sections are in. And here we can see the number of icons in each section. So this comes to about 91, I believe. So we've got these various Windows ones, FreeBSD, all of these various different Linux ones that we saw already. We've got various Mac OS ones here. And under this section here, Other, this has just got some random other ones that don't really have any other section to actually fit into. So if you're looking for a particular icon and you don't want to have to actually look through each section, say we were looking for Mint Linux, if we just type in here Mint, then it will filter out just the ones with the word Mint in it, so we could add those into our VM icons from here. So now there are eight icons all together. And so now those two Mint Linux icons are in the manager, along with the other additional icons that we added earlier. Now, other things you can do here is you can click Select All if you just want all of the Windows ones. Select All if you want all of the Linux ones. But also if you want every single icon that the pack has, we click Select All Icons here and click Save and Apply. So that's added 91 icons now. Personally, I think it's too many to add all at once because then there's, well, a whole load you have to scroll through. That was the idea of actually redesigning this. So we can just put the ones we want into the VM manager without having extra that we don't actually need. And if you want to reset it just back to how it was, we can just click clear all icons here. Now no icons are selected. Save and apply. And then back in the VM manager, we can see we're just back to stock. And we can see all of these icons now are just back to a default icon because we don't have the custom icons. But now if we were to actually add them back, there's the Windows 98 one. And let's quickly fast forward going back and getting the others. And let's click Save and Apply. And now if we go back to the VM page and refresh the page, then we can see our custom icons have all come back. Now I'm going to save one of the very best features to last. So make sure you stay watching to the very end. But before I show you the cool new feature, I'm just going to show people who have got the existing version 1 container still installed, how to migrate to this v2 version. So here we are on another server, which is actually running the old version of VM custom icons. Well, actually, it's not the old version because we can see here it says it's fully up to date. And if you look at my VMs here, we can see there is a custom icon. So when we click onto it, there's no web UI here. That's because it's using the old template. And if I look at that template here, we can see it's very different to the new template. Everything's selected whether you want all the Windows icons, Linux icons, and all of the other sections here, basically by choosing variables in the Docker template. It was very clunky like this, but it did get the job done. So all we need to do is basically get rid of this template. So to do that, I'm going to just remove the container. And I'm going to click here on Add Container, which I know sounds a bit counterintuitive. But then from here on the drop down. I'm going to click Select Template, and here I'm going to click VM Custom Icons. And I'm looking for the little cross. Sometimes it's on the right hand side, sometimes underneath. I'm going to click onto it, and that's actually going to remove the template for this particular container. That's what we want to do. So now with the template removed, we can go back to the Apps tab and search for the container and install it afresh. Again, I don't need to fill anything in. I can just go down to the bottom and click on to Apply. And so now because we've got a new template, we've got the web UI button and here we are in the new version 2. But anyone who'd been running the old version and they didn't update their template, it will run just how it used to as this version is backwardly compatible with either template and it will run in either way. So moving on, here is a really cool feature that a lot of people have asked for for a long time. The ability to be able to add your own icons. Now at the bottom here, we've got this section here saying custom. You can see there's nothing in here at the moment. Let's move it up to the top here and I'm going to click on upload icon. Now there are certain limits here. The size can't be more than 500k and the normal size for icons are 96 by 96 pixels. Now this will resize them if it's wrong, but you do have to upload a PNG format and it must be under 500 kilobytes. So I'm going to click here. And here's a Space Invader 1 icon. I'm going to click onto that and click open. OK, so now we can see that custom has one icon here. So I'm going to click onto it and there we can see my new icon. 
If you want to actually delete it, you can do. You'd click here to get rid of the icon. You can't do that for any of the built-in icons, but for your own icons, if you don't like it anymore, you can just delete it and it will be gone. Let's just re-upload it again. So I'm going to select this icon here and click Save and Apply. And let's go to the VMs tab. And I'm going to edit this VM here. And there we are, there's the icon there. So there's my Space Invader 1 icon. I can use that for the VM if I wanted to. So that's it, that's all of the features. Oh, well, actually there's one more. There's a light mode and a dark mode for whatever you prefer. And there's one other thing to remember when using this container is VM icons, because Unraid runs in RAM, the icons are loaded into RAM when the server first starts. So this container puts extra ones into the RAM, so when you reboot, all of the icons are actually gone. So on first boot of the server, this container must run in order to put all of your icons back that you'd chosen before. So just always make sure you've got auto start on this container, set to on, then all of your icons and icon choices that you've made will persist through every reboot. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and find this container useful. Now we're into August. Don't forget this month is Unraid's 20th anniversary. And at the end of this month, we're having a big celebration. Check out the website all about that. But until then, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.